Hi guys, I've just been doing some work with one of these solar panels and I know that somebody's going to ask me what happens if you shine a laser beam on it? Well, I don't have any laser beams. I do have a laser pointer but the easiest way I can demonstrate and cover off a few other lights is to use this little solar rocker. Now at the moment the ambient light in here well, she's moving because I've just knocked her oh. stay still right the ambient light in here isn't enough to get her rocking in this light, which is just off screen, I've got one of those horrible CFLs in it, compact fluorescent lights. So we'll point that at her. Takes a few seconds to warm up. And she is moving. Just building up speed a bit. If you're trying to run solar powered cars and that sort of thing, you'll usually find CFL lamps don't produce enough of the right type of solar radiation. And lots of people complain their solar toys don't work. Well, CFLs are really bad for that sort of thing. Next, I've got. 10 watt LED bulb. So we'll swap the bulb over. And a bit of luck, she'll stop. screwing the bulb in. Right, she's more or less stopped. Okay, so LED bulb. She's actually quite happy with that, which is fairly surprising. The LED bulbs don't give off a lot of the right sort of radiation, but obviously that one is. So that works. Um, what else have we got? That one's halogen. Yeah, she's pretty happy with that. One thing with halogen bulbs is when you're trying to get a solar thing to work you're quite often tempted to hold the bulb right up close to it and halogen bulbs melt your solar rocker because they get hot. So turn that one off again. Right, that one was 24 watt halogen. And this one, what did I just say? This one's a 50 watt so it should be twice as powerful and it's also a spotlight so it's more directional. So yeah, she's happy with that. My camera is doing auto white balance each time so you can't really tell how bright that light is. Anyway, she's happy with that. Just for variation, this one is a homemade infrared bulb. I say homemade, I mean it was a kit I bought off eBay, but I changed the bulbs out for infrared. Which of course the camera will see, but I won't. Right. 
I can't see that at all. Let's just hold the bulb there. Camera doesn't pick it up very well, you just see it's a dull glow. So she's not reacting to infrared. Okay, switch that one off again. Got an ordinary torch. What's that? 18, 21 LEDs? Just ordinary ones, they're not high luminous. She's happy with that. Let's hold that back a bit further. Yep, she's happy with that. Uh, this one is ultraviolet. Again, camera picks it up. I better wait for her to stop rocking. Yeah, she's happy with that. And then finally, the laser pointer. So it's only a red laser pointer. Just a tiny bit. And that's really what this video is about. <laughs> it's really not doing anything. And the main reason is, whether that's powerful or not, it's over such a small area on the solar panel. So if I go off to one side, we're not getting very much movement at all. Straddle the line. And we're getting some movement. So there we go. A long video to answer a regular question. I don't know if you get... Oh, focus went then, didn't it? I don't know, if you get a better laser, whether it make much difference, because it's the area you're covering. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. My second channel, Grandad's Other Channel, is where I put the longer videos with more detail. Then there's my Facebook page and you can follow me on Twitter. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. And if you fancy some Grandad merchandise, I have two shops. One on Redbubble and the other on Cotton Car. Finally, you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.